We are in an epidemic, an epidemic of unhappiness. Friends, here's the good news. Happy Head has the answer. When Seb is selected for an innovative retreat designed to tackle teenage unhappiness, it is his chance to finally be good at something. Getting close to the troubled Finn is definitely not part of the plan. But the challenges the participants must undergo become more unsettling by the day, and together the boys start to question the true nature of the experiment. What is it that Hyperhead really wants from them, and will they make it out alive? This book is a dystopian novel and a young, a young adult novel. Hi, I'm Kai, one of the Bellas. Today, I'm asking Miss Ismail from the English department five quick questions about her book, Happy Head. So, can you describe this book in five words? Uh, yeah, so it's like thrilling, exciting, it's absolutely fascinating. It's very intriguing though, you want to get to the next one, and it's just overall ripping. So, what do you like about the book? I really like the dystopian elements, and while obviously we have the Hunger Games and other books like that, like Divergent, this one felt a lot more realistic, more based in reality, so those dystopian elements were really, really pre prevalent to our society, and I just thought it was amazing. How did reading the book make you feel, and why? It was, it made me feel like really kind of like, accepting, and like, just really interested in it, it was so gripping and exciting, and I can't wait for the next book out, I know we've got Josh Silver coming in next week, and it's can't wait to meet him uh, and see his new book. And it just made me feel so like more aware of everything around us. With everything going on in sight, things like Happy Head, we don't realise actually happening in the world. So it just made it so much more relevant and important. What do you think a young person would take from reading this book? Well, when they be in LGBTQ history, I think that someone could take a lot from it, whether they be a member of that or not. I think everyone should be really aware of it. And the book itself obviously is about two boys who end up getting together, which is a really nice kind of little love story in a really horrible dystopian world. Would you recommend this book? And if so, why? Oh yeah, I definitely would. Especially with the new one coming out very soon. I think it's May, March or May it's coming out, I can't remember. But it leaves you on such a cliffhanger that you just desperate to get to the next one, so I definitely pick it up before the new one comes out. Thank you Mrs. Mel for taking time out of your day to answer five quick questions about this book. Oh, it was no problem, really enjoyed it. Thanks, Kaya. If you like the sound of this book, come and borrow a copy from our library.